Because of the limits that the United States has placed on the sale of powerful artificial intelligence chips manufactured by NVIDIA to China, Huawei has been given the opportunity to gain market share. A significant order for artificial intelligence chips reportedly belongs to Huawei, which was awarded the contract by the Chinese technology giant Beidou. Beidou ordered artificial intelligence ships from Huawei this year, two people familiar with the matter said, adding to signs that U.S. pressure is prompting Chinese acceptance of the firm's products as an alternative to NVIDIA's. Beidou, one of the leading artificial intelligence firms in China, which operates the Ernie Large Language Model LM, placed the order in August ahead of the widely anticipated new rules that were implemented in October by the United States government that tightened restrictions on exports of chips and chip tools to China, including those of the American chip giant NVIDIA. Before we proceed, kindly return the favor and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature to stay up to speed with new video publications. Beidou has reportedly placed an order for 1,600 Huawei Technologies 910B Ascend AI chips to be used in 200 of its servers. These chips were designed by the Chinese company as an alternative to NVIDIA's A100 chip. By October, Huawei had delivered more than 60% of the order, or approximately 1,000 chips, to Beidou. The overall value of the order was around 450 million yuan which is equivalent to $61.83 million and Huawei was tasked with delivering all of the chips by the end of this year. Both parties expressed their desire not to be identified because of the sensitive nature of the transaction. According to the sources, the order was noteworthy because it demonstrated how some companies could shift away from the American company, despite the fact that the order was very small in comparison to the thousands of chips that major Chinese technology firms have previously ordered from NVIDIA. It is well known that Beidou, along with other Chinese competitors such as Tencent and Alibaba, has been a client of NVIDIA for a significant amount of time. Prior to this, it was unknown that Beidou was one of Huawei's customers for AI chips. They were placing orders for 910B chips as a precaution against a potential future in which they would no longer be able to buy from NVIDIA. The newest N910B chipset is an improved version of the older 910 chip. The most recent chipset from Huawei has not yet been formally announced by the company. However, in public statements about the impending chip, a few Chinese corporations and researchers have released some information that was previously kept secret. Additionally, Huawei has made available on its official website a collection of technical guides pertaining to the chipset. In the month of August, Huawei's website began to feature downloadable documents relating to the SN 910B. These included directions for upgrading the device's drivers and firmware. During the same month, Liu Qingfeng, chairman of the Chinese AI company iFlyTech, lauded Huawei for producing a GPU that he described as being basically the same as NVIDIA's A100. Qingfeng also mentioned that iFlyTech and Huawei were collaborating on the development of hardware. A later report stated that the hardware was powered by an Ascend 910B, which was a piece of information that was not previously available. During iFlytech's earnings call in October, Senior Vice President Zhang Tao repeated his statement from the previous month that the capabilities of the Ascend 910B were comparable to NVIDIA's A100. In addition, the article claims that Beidou placed an order in August for 1,600 Huawei 910B chips to be installed in 200 servers. According to several sources and industry analysts, the raw computational capability of the 910B processors is on par with that of NVIDIA's products. However, these chips still lag in performance. They are currently the most technologically advanced homegrown choice that can be chosen in China. How did Huawei get its start in the artificial intelligence chip business? In 2018, Huawei was the first company to publicly introduce its Ascend 910 chip. This chip was a part of the company's strategy to build a full-stack AI portfolio and become a provider of computing power. The chip was presented to the public for the first time in 2019, the same year that the company was targeted by export limits in the United States. In 2019, Huawei asserted that this chip included the most powerful AI processor available anywhere in the world. Chinese media also reported that the original Ascend 910 was manufactured on a 7 nanometer process. However, this ship was not successful in challenging NVIDIA's preeminent position either inside or outside of China. 
The chip manufacturer situated in the United States presented its A100 and A100 chips in the years 2020 and 2022, respectively. This chip held the majority of the market share in the artificial intelligence chip industry all over the world. The existing artificial intelligence initiatives on NVIDIA's software ecosystem, according to the opinions of several experts, provide the corporation an advantage against Huawei. Analysts have also pointed out that the AI models that can be trained by the Huawei ecosystem version known as CAN are more restricted than those that can be trained by other ecosystems. Huawei's website says it has since 2020 collaborated with Beidou to make its AI platform compatible with Huawei hardware. The two firms announced in August that they will work together to increase the level of compatibility between Beidou's Ernie AI model and Huawei's Ascend CPUs. In spite of the fact that Beidou has built its own line of Kunlun AI chips, which the firm claims are capable of large-scale AI computation, the business has primarily relied on NVIDIA's A100 chip in order to train its LLM. NVIDIA provided new A800 and H800 processors as alternatives for Chinese customers, including Beidou, after the United States implemented laws banning the business from selling its A100 and H100 chips to China last year. These rules were enforced by the United States. Because of the new regulations that went into effect in October, NVIDIA is unable to continue selling such chips in China. Analysts predicted last month that the U.S. curves would create an opening for Huawei to expand in its $7 billion home market. Since 2019, the United States government has begun exercising export control over the company. The order adds to signs of technological advances for Huawei as Beijing pours investment into its domestic semiconductor industry to help it catch up with overseas peers and urges state-owned firms to replace foreign technology with domestic alternatives. A surprising unveiling of a new smartphone by Huawei in August, which analysts say utilizes internally built CPUs containing superior semiconductor technology garnered a significant amount of worldwide attention to the firm and highlighted the progress the company has made in chip research in spite of sanctions. According to a story that was published by Reuters in September, Huawei's in-house chip design unit, Isilicon, has begun shipments of freshly created Chinese-made processors for surveillance cameras to customers in 2023. This was another positive indication for Huawei. The market for AI chips in China is anticipated to be worth $7 billion, according to industry estimates. Additionally, Huawei is able to quickly grab market share from NVIDIA, which marks a victory for Huawei in its competition with the United States. Meng Wanzhou, chief financial officer of Huawei, stated in September that the company's goal is to establish a computing base in China and provide a second option for the rest of the world. China's AI firms will have to rely on domestic products like Huawei's less powerful chips as NVIDIA platforms are unavailable in the country. On the other hand, researchers have anticipated that Huawei will quickly close this gap in the near future. The artificial intelligence, AI, and semiconductor industries are purportedly receiving massive sums of assistance and investment from the Chinese government. And now, let us hear from you in the comments section below. Keep in mind that more videos will be up soon. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to stay up to date with new video uploads. Also, sharing indicates you want to see our content reach a wider audience. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.